Hello guys, welcome back to the class for orals. Today we are going to discuss about the classification of fire which is very much asked in the MMD orals. If we are discussing the classification of fire, if we are searching on the Google, we may find a lot of results stating different different classes A, B, C, D, K, A, B, C, D, E, F or many other results. So before the surveyor is asking you, we should tell him that the classification of fire is categorized on the two bases. One is for the ISO which is International Organization for Standardization which is located in the United Kingdom and the second one is the NFPA that one is National Fire Protection Association and its headquarters are located in the United States. So on Wikipedia I am going to discuss this classification of fire. Please do not miss this video because this video is going to be very much helpful for the people who are answering the class or orals. The Wikipedia uh, is categorizing the classification of fire in as per the ISO United States and uh, ISO and NFPA. Taking the first category, the combustible materials such as wood, paper, fabric and refuse. It is categorized as the class A fire for both ISO and NFPA. Second one for the flammable liquids, the classification of Flammable liquids is categorized as the class B for both ISO and NFPA. The third one is important. It is for the flammable gases. The ISO categorizes it as the class C fire, whereas the NFPA categorizes it as class B fire. We should keep this notice uh, in our mind that ISO takes it as class C, whereas NFPA takes it as class B fire. Talking about the metallic flammable metals the ISO categorizes it as class D also NFPA takes it as class D fire the fifth one is very much important it speaks about the electrical fire in the ISO the electrical fire is not categorized at all please note this point electrical fire is not classified in ISO Earlier it was classified as class E fire but now it is not classified. Why? We, are, we will be discussing it in a short while. Whereas the United States which is NFPA takes it as class C fire. Now the last point is about the cooking oil and the fats which is in the galley fire or kitchen fires especially where the uh, food is being made and cooking oil is present. ISO takes it as the class F fire whereas the United States which is NFPA categorizes it as class K fire. Please note the, these classification as per ISO and NFPA again combustible material class A class A flammable liquids class B class B flammable gases class C and class B Please note this, this is common. The NFPA takes class B fire for both flammable liquids and gases. Flammable metals, class D, class D, same. Electrical fire, not categorized for ISO. Class C is for the electrical fire in NFPA. And cooking oils and fat are F and K. Please do not get confused in this point. If you are telling the surveyor that cooking oil is class K fire then you should mention that class K is as per the NFPA and class F is cooking fire cooking oil fire as ISO. Now we will be discussing the each classification shortly. The class A fire the combustible ordinary materials it is combustible such as wood paper fabric and mostly kind of trashes which is very easy to understand. The second one speaks about the flammable liquid and gases. The US system categorizes all such fires as class B fire. We just uh, uh, read this point. And European Union uh, flammable liquids are designated as class B again. Now, the electrical fire. We may found that the electrical fire is actually categorized differently in ISO because in Europe the electrical fires are not longer recognized as a separate class of fire because 
they think electricity itself cannot burn simple the europeans think electricity cannot burn itself but the items surrounding the electrical sources may burn for example electrical cable electric electrical cable is surrounded by the sheath by the insulation which is a kind of solid fire which is a kind of combustible material okay wire and uh, such things are surrounding the electrical sources they may burn but electricity alone cannot burn thereby by turning the electrical sources off that fire can be fought by other fire extinguishers but in uh, but in united states the electrical fire is considered as a class c fire please note this point do not get confused during the mmd orals lastly the metallic fires again the metallic fires are uh, for the lithium potassium alkaline earth metals and magnesium and such metals again they are categorized as class d fire but again last point speaks about the cooking oil and the fats which is for the kitchen fire class k is for the american system and class f is for the european system so uh, more or less they they both are considering the cooking oil fire but nomenclature is different and uh, extinguishing medium is sometimes fire blankets and the uh, other uh, special class k fire extinguisher so before you are uh, the surveyor is asking you that the what is the classification of fire in order to not get confused please explain him that sir as per iso the classification of fire is a b c d f and as per the nfpa it is a b b d c k i hope this part is very much understood and we are not going to commit any mistake during mmd orals because this question is very much basic but surveyor usually points out whether you are saying e fire f fire k fire d fire c fire b fire so you have to be very much sure and particular that as per iso these are the classifications and as per the nfpa these are the classification i hope this video is very much uh, useful and well understood by all of us and please do subscribe to the channel and and please gets alerts from this channel thank you so much